Masjid Al-Aqsa, a sacred nexus of faiths. Part 1. The Introduction. Nestled amidst the ancient city of Jerusalem, Masjid Al-Aqsa stands as a testament to the intertwined religious and cultural heritage of three of the world's major monotheistic traditions, Islam, Christianity and Judaism. Its hallowed grounds have attracted pilgrims and scholars from far and wide for centuries, leaving an indelible mark on history. The origins and significance of Masjid Al-Aqsa, the exact origins of Masjid Al-Aqsa, are shrouded in mystery, but theories abound. Some scholars believe construction began in the 7th century, during the reign of Caliph Umar ibn al-Khattab, while others trace its roots to the Temple of Solomon described in the Bible. Regardless of its genesis, the mosque gained immense religious significance for Muslims. As the third holiest site in Islam, after Mecca and Medina, the miraculous night journey, central to the Islamic narrative is the belief that Prophet Muhammad embarked on a miraculous night journey is Rand Mirage, from Mecca to Jerusalem. In this celestial ascent, he is said to have ascended to the heavens. Before being returned to Masjid Al-Aqsa, an event that cemented its profound sacredness. Importance for Muslims, for Muslims, Masjid Al-Aqsa holds immense historical and religious value. It is one of the two primary Qibla's direction of prayer in Islamic worship. Moreover, the Dome of the Rock, situated within the mask compound, is revered as the place where Prophet Muhammad is believed to have ascended to heaven. Christian and Jewish significance, while Masjid Al-Aqsa is of primary significance for Muslims. It also holds deep meaning for Christians and Jews. Christians identify it as the site of Jesus' resurrection and ascension, while Jews revere it as the location of the Second Temple, once the holiest sanctuary of the Jewish faith. Political and religious tensions, historically, control over Masjid Al-Aqsa has been a source of conflict and tension between different religious and political factions. The area has been a flashpoint of violence and debate, particularly in recent decades. Today, the site remains a contested space with Muslims, Christians and Jews all claiming a sacred connection to it. Recent developments and future in recent years, there have been growing concerns about the preservation and access to Masjid Al-Aqsa. Restoration and renovation projects have been undertaken, and interfaith dialogue continues to play a crucial role in fostering understanding and cooperation among the stakeholders. However, the future of the site remains uncertain, with continued debate and discussion over its religious and political significance. Prophet David and Masjid Al-Aqsa Prophet David is a revered figure in Islam, Christianity and Judaism. He is recognized as a just and wise ruler and a devout worshipper of God. According to Islamic tradition, Prophet David played a significant role in the history of Masjid Al-Aqsa, David's conquest of Jerusalem. In the 10th century BC, Prophet David, then the king of Israel, led his army in the conquest of Jerusalem. At that time, Jerusalem was known as Jebus and was under the control of the Jebusites. David's conquest of the city is described in the Bible to Samuel 5 to 6 to 10 and the Quran, Surah Al Anbiya, a verse 78. Establishment of Jerusalem as the capital. After conquering Jerusalem, Prophet David made it the capital of his kingdom. He recognized the city's strategic importance and its potential to become a center of commerce and culture. David also brought the Ark of the Covenant, which was considered the most sacred object in Judaism to Jerusalem and placed it in a tent on Mount Zion. Plans to build the first temple. Prophet David had a deep desire to build a grand temple in Jerusalem to house the Ark of the Covenant and serve as a central place of worship for the Israelites. However, he was unable to fulfill this desire during his lifetime. According to the Bible 1 Chronicles 20-28, God instructed David that his son, Solomon, would be the one to build the temple. David spent his remaining years gathering materials and making preparations for the construction of the temple. David's Legacy Prophet David's reign is considered a golden age in the history of Israel. He established a vast and prosperous kingdom, expanded the borders of Israel, and made Jerusalem its capital. His plans to build the first temple laid the foundation for the future construction of the second temple and, ultimately, Masjid Al-Aqsa. 
Masjid Al-Aqsa and the Temple Mount. The Temple Mount, on which Masjid Al-Aqsa is located, is considered one of the holiest sites in Judaism. It is believed to be the location of the first and second temples. According to Islamic tradition, the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven from the Temple Mount during his night journey is Rand Mirage. Today, Masjid Al-Aqsa stands as a testament to the rich religious and historical heritage of Jerusalem, Palestine. It is a place of great significance for Muslims, Christians and Jews and continues to be a symbol of faith, pilgrimage and cultural exchange. Prophet Solomon and Masjid Al-Aqsa Prophet Solomon, the son of Prophet David, is revered as a wise and prosperous king in Islam, Christianity and Judaism. During his reign, the kingdom of Israel reached its peak of power and glory. Solomon is also known for his construction of the first temple in Jerusalem, which is considered one of the most magnificent structures in ancient history. Just in case if you have never heard of the story, the Solomon's Temple, Solomon's Inheritance. Upon inheriting the throne from his father, Prophet David, Solomon, faced the challenge of maintaining the vast kingdom that had been established. He prayed to God for wisdom and guidance, and God granted him both. Solomon became renowned for his wise judgments and his ability to resolve complex disputes. Construction of the First Temple One of Solomon's most significant achievements was the construction of the First Temple in Jerusalem. He fulfilled his father's desire to build a grand sanctuary for the Ark of the Covenant. The temple was built on Mount Moriah, the same site where, according to Islamic tradition, Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven during his night journey. The first temple was an elaborate and inspiring structure. It was made of the finest materials, including sadar wood, gold, and silver. The temple became the spiritual center of the Israelites and a symbol of their covenant with God. Solomon's reign. Under Solomon's rule, the kingdom of Israel flourished. He expanded the kingdom's borders, established trade routes, and developed a prosperous economy. Solomon was also known for his lavish lifestyle and his wisdom. Relationship with Masjid Al-Aqsa Masjid Al-Aqsa, built on the Temple Mount, is considered the third holiest site in Islam. While the exact date of its construction is unknown, some scholars believe that it was built on the ruins of the first temple constructed by Solomon. The Dome of the Rock, a prominent landmark within the Masjid Al-Aqsa compound, is believed to be the location where Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven during his night journey. Legacy Prophet Solomon's reign is remembered as a golden age in the history of Israel. His construction of the first temple established Jerusalem as a holy city and a center of pilgrimage. For centuries to come, Masjid Al-Aqsa, built on the site of the first temple, continues to be a sacred place for Muslims, Christians and Jews. Place of great significance for Muslims, Christians and Jews. And it continues to be a symbol of faith, pilgrimage and cultural exchange. Mythology of Solomon's Temple Solomon's Temple, also known as the first temple, was an elaborate and magnificent structure built in Jerusalem during the reign of King Solomon. It was considered the holiest site in Judaism and a symbol of the covenant between God and the Israelites. Over the centuries, a rich mythology has developed around Solomon's temple, including legends and stories that have been passed down through generations. Here are some of the most common mythological elements associated with Solomon's temple. Divine Construction According to legend, Solomon's temple was built with the help of supernatural forces, Angels are said to have assisted in the construction, and the stones were cut and fitted together without the use of tools. The Ark of the Covenant, the Ark of the Covenant, a sacred chest containing the Ten Commandments, was housed in the Holy of Holies, the innermost sanctuary of the temple. The Ark was believed to possess great power and was said to emit a blinding light. The Shekinah glory, the Shekinah glory, a visible manifestation of God's presence was said to dwell in the Holy of Holies. When the temple was dedicated, the Shekinah glory filled the sanctuary, and the priests were unable to enter. The Queen of Sheba's visit, the Queen of Sheba is said to have visited Solomon's temple, and was amazed by its splendor and wisdom. According to legend, she converted to Judaism after witnessing the temple's glory. The destruction of the temple, Solomon's temple was destroyed by the Babylonians in 586 BC. 
the destruction of the temple was seen as a sign of God's displeasure with the Israelites and a symbol of their exile from their homeland. The one-eyed Dajjal. The Dajjal is a figure in Islamic eschatology who is believed to be a false messiah, who will appear at this end of time. The Dajjal is often described as having one eye, which is said to be deformed or evil-looking. According to Islamic tradition, the Dajjal will emerge from Isfahan in Persia and will deceive many people by performing miracles and claiming to be a prophet. He will lead a great army and will conquer many lands. The Dajjal will be opposed by the Mahdi, a righteous leader who will come to restore justice and peace to the world. The Mahdi will defeat the Dajjal and establish a just and righteous kingdom on earth. Dajjal is based on a number of different sources, including the Quran, the Hadith sayings and actions of the Prophet Muhammad, and various commentaries and interpretations. The Dajjal is a powerful and frightening figure who represents the forces of evil and deception. The belief in the construction of the Third Temple among Zionists is deeply rooted in Jewish tradition and theology, intertwined with the anticipation of the arrival of the Messiah. To understand this belief, we must delve into the historical and religious context that has shaped it. For thousands of years, the Jewish people have revered Jerusalem as their spiritual and historical capital. Central to this reverence is the site known as the Temple Mount, where the first and second temples once stood. The first temple, built by King Solomon around 957 BCE, was destroyed by the Babylonians in 586 BCE. The second temple, reconstructed under the patronage of King Cyrus of Persia, stood for several centuries until its destruction by the Romans in 70 C. Throughout their history, Jews have longed for the rebuilding of the temple and the restoration of Jewish sovereignty in Jerusalem. This desire is deeply connected to biblical prophecy, particularly in the book of Ezekiel, which describes a vision of a future temple that will be built in Jerusalem and serve as a center for worship and divine presence. For many religious Jews, the construction of the Third Temple is seen as a precursor to the coming of the Messiah. According to Jewish tradition, the Messiah will usher in an hour of peace, justice, and spiritual redemption. The Third Temple is believed to be the place where the Messiah will reveal himself and establish his reign. Among Zionist thinkers and activists, this idea of rebuilding the Temple has taken on added significance. Zionism as a movement for Jewish national liberation and self-determination, seeks to establish and maintain a Jewish homeland in the land of Israel. For many Zionists, the rebuilding of the temple symbolizes the fulfillment of Jewish sovereignty and the restoration of Jewish dignity and pride. In contemporary times, the issue of the Temple Mount remains highly contentious, as it is also a holy site for Muslims who refer to it as Haram al-Sharif, the noble sanctuary, and consider it the third holiest site in Islam. The presence of the Dome of the Rock and the Halaksa Mask on the Temple Mount complicates any efforts to rebuild the temple, as it would involve sensitive political and religious negotiations. Despite these challenges, the belief in the eventual construction of the Third Temple continues to inspire many Jews, both religious and secular, who see it as a symbol of hope and redemption. Whether or not the temple will actually be rebuilt remains uncertain. But for believers, the dream of its restoration remains a powerful force that shapes their faith and their vision for the future. Recent events have been disclosing many myths to come true. On March the 6th, 2024, Bible prophecy to be fulfilled as red heifers from Texas are secretly moved to Jerusalem. In an undisclosed secret location in West Bank is a group of sacred cows who have come all the way from Texas picked for their red hair. Color by religious zealots, some believe they are key in a religious prophecy. A religious group has transferred a herd of red cows from Texas to the West Bank and kept them in a secret location claiming it will fulfill a biblical prophecy. Yuchik Momo of Ovni Jerusalem a group committed to seeing a new temple built in Jerusalem's old city, spent years tracking down red heifer cows in order to sacrifice one of them. In the Israeli-occupied West Bank, members of Momo's group believe one of these red cows needs to be offered to rebuild a Jewish temple in Jerusalem, which was destroyed by the Romans 2,000 years ago. 
fervent believers of the prophecy point to the Bible's book of Numbers, which commands the Israelites to offer a red heifer without defect or blemish, and that has never been under a yoke. A large white altar awaits the poor chosen red cow, where they are set to be burned, on a plot of land overlooking the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. Momo told CBS the ceremony must be performed looking directly where the second temple stood, before the Romans burnt it down in 70 AD. There is now reportedly a group of sacred red heifer cows which graze, at a secure, undisclosed location in the West Bank, thanks to Momo and his gang of religious cattle rustlers. After a long search, we found them in Texas, he told CBS News. Texas Red Angus. He explained that any non-red hair on the cow would disqualify it from fulfilling their prophesied role. In order to get the unwitting cows from Texas to the Middle East, Momo classed them as pets. He stressed that the whole thing was not a publicity stunt. Harry Potter is a good story. The Bible is not a story, he said. The Bible is a way of God to lead us. Standing where the second temple used to be is now a palace, called the Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mask, two buildings deemed among the holiest sites in Islam. Today, armed guards stand watch on the site, ensuring that only Muslims are allowed. Inside the complex following conflict breaking out in the Middle East, the terrorist group Hamas dubbed its October 7th attack on Israel the Al-Aqsa Wave, and the group's emblem features the Dome of the Rock. Following the attacks, the Israeli military launched a full-scale attack on Palestine. Israel's government has recently confirmed plans for more than 3,400 new homes to be built in settlements in the occupied West Bank. The Palestinian Authority has reportedly condemned the plans, which are the first to be approved since June.